everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I am so excited about today's video. The sun is shining. It finally feels like spring. I've got on like a summery red lip to celebrate and we are filming a spring summer Zara haul, which I am very excited about. So I actually asked on my stories what video you would like to see next and it was between Zara and new look and I feel like both of these are actually quite different brands but the reason I decided to pick out these two was because my two most popular haul videos are a new look haul and a Zara haul so I was torn between the two I kind of wanted to cater to the people and do a haul video that you clearly like to see so I was torn between those two I put up a little poll in my Instagram stories yesterday and Zara won basically so here we are we've got a Zara all a Zara haul. I made an order last night. It arrived today. Great delivery. Very impressed. So yeah, I have quite a few summary bits to show you and let's just get started. Question is, is it even a haul if you don't show the box? Try to like cover up my address, but here we are. So like I said, this arrived today. So it's my first time opening it up. I have a vague memory of everything I ordered, but honestly, my memory is so bad with these things that who knows what I've ordered. Just by looking into the box, I can tell that I was well aware of the weather forecast for this weekend because there is so much summery dresses and things like that. So yeah, the first one is this beautiful, beautiful red mini dress. I sometimes struggle with Zara, I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to like sizing and like lengths of things. I'm quite tall and sometimes these things are just a little bit too short. So yeah, I'm intrigued or keen to see how this fits, but it's so cute, right? It's got a little frilly bit, which is lovely. It's got button down, it looks really cute. I picked this up in a size extra small and it was $29.99. On to some polka dots. How cute is this dress? It's almost a bit of an A-line fit dress dress and um, so I'm actually intrigued to see how this fits on me like it's quite boxy I think it's very like straight up and down but we'll see it's got a cute little almost sweetheart neckline but not like too 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 defined but that's cute and it's just polka dots I've actually been seeing a lot of polka dots recently so I'm very intrigued to see if we start seeing this filtering through much more on the high street as well because I think I'm here for it and I just thought this was really cute it feels like quite a tough fabric if that makes sense it almost feels like it's like denim -y. I picked this up in an extra small and it was $25.99 you've probably seen this a thousand times I have I thought I was sick of it but then I was like I'm doing this order I may as well buy it so it is the famous one shoulder almost like shirt like top from Zara I had to pick it up I just had to they do it in a pastel pink in white and in black as well. I went for the white one because I'm trying to like wear lighter colors and I'm like really loving white jeans and light wash jeans. So I thought this would look really cute with that. I picked this up in an extra small and it was $29.99. It's got a bit of an asymmetric hem going on. Obviously it's just got one sleeve and on the sleeve, it's actually got this gorgeous like gold button detail, which I think is incredible. I'm just very keen to try this. Every single person I have seen wearing this jumper looks, this jumper, this top, looks absolutely incredible. So I really hope it looks good on me too. I went ahead and picked up a play suit, which I would say is quite ambitious on my part, particularly because generally speaking, Zara things tend to be quite short and on me ridiculously short. And so when it comes to play suits, they are a struggle in itself, like wherever I'm getting them. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure about this. Just looking at it, it looks tiny. It's also like material wise, very flimsy it feels like yeah it just feels like very like elasticy like just it doesn't feel that nice uh but it, it does look cute it's a red gingham which i love we've got the ruffle detail all along the sleeves which i think is really pretty it always makes something just look like a little bit more special and then it looks like a dress which i think is quite nice but it is actually shorts but they do look like very short shorts so we will see but i thought it was quite cute i thought it'd be really lovely for like some sunshine and i always worry a little bit about wearing things that are too short in the city in london so i thought this would be quite a nice one but i still think it's quite short so i got this in a size small and it was $17.99. Oh, and then I went for something a little bit different for me. Zara have a lot of skorts at the moment and skorts for me just remind me so much of my like teenage years. I feel like I was very much into the whole skirt at the front, shorts at the back kind of look and I didn't really think that was something that I would come back around to that I would sort of like again but here we are. Zara's got quite a few and I think there's at least another one in my order so 
you know, clearly, clearly trends do come back around. But I loved how this looked across the front. I've seen a couple of dress um, skirts that look like this with just like a, a flap a flap around the front almost. And I thought it was really, really cute. So I just loved the way it looked at the front. It doesn't button or anything like this is literally how it looks. And then underneath we have the shorts and the back of these are shorts. So it's not sort of, it's not like a skirt carrying around the whole way through with like shorts underneath. It is sort of the front is a fake skirt and then the back is shorts. But I think they look nice. This is a nice color. Like I said, I'm very much into my neutrals at the moment. And I think this would look quite nice with just like a basic white t-shirt tucked in or something. Very cool. Like I said, in the city, I always do struggle or just like worry a little bit with um, short skirts. So I feel like shorts is a better alternative. So yeah, I quite like these. They are a suede material as well, which I really, really like. I picked these up in an extra small and they were $19.99. A bit of a wild card next and I'm not too sure how I feel about it. So the top looks like this. I think it looks all well and good. It's almost like a mustardy green colour. Like I'm not so keen on this colour. I think on me it might not look that great. But I thought it was like cute. I thought it could look cute. So the top, like I said, is just this more like billowy puff sleeve effect, which is nice. But then the bottom is completely ruched. So the skirt is a completely ruched skirt. I think this will, I think this will be really, really flattering actually. I think I would say generally speaking, I'm like a pear shape. So my hips and like bum area tend to be like the widest part. And I feel like this will skim over those quite nicely. It could end up accentuating them more, which is not ideal if you don't want to accentuate those areas. But if you do want to accentuate those areas, then I feel like this is gonna look amazing on you. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this looks on. I might fall in love with it. I might absolutely hate it, we'll see. I picked this up in an extra small and it was 29.99. Still quite a few polka dot things to get through. So I bought this slip dress. It's a midi slip polka dot the dots almost look like navy as opposed to black, which I think is quite nice. They also have this in the opposite colorway, so a black dress with white polka dots, which I was so, so, so tempted by, but I thought the white would be a little bit nicer for like summertime. It's just a slip midi dress, like this gorgeous sort of like silky material, which is lovely. I picked this up in a size extra small and it was also $29.99. Clearly I wasn't kidding when I said there was a lot of polka dot right now. I feel like there's much more polka dot here than I remembered. So I also picked up this little skirt. This is also a skirt. I, I like this one actually. I like it more than I thought I would. I wasn't entirely sure because I thought the colorways was quite peculiar. It's sort of like a green and like peachy polka dots, which I think is quite different. It again is like this sort of silky material, which I think is really nice. And it's just got a ruffled hem, which I think is super cute. Perfect for this time of year. But like I said, underneath we have, this is so hard to show, underneath we have some concealed shorts. So they are hidden under the ruffle, which I quite like. So you see how these are different to the other skirt I showed you? So this one, it looks like a skirt all the way around. You've just got concealed shorts in there, whereas the other ones, you could actually see the shorts on the back. So I quite like that these are different like that. Again, I picked these up in an extra small and they were $25.99. A last minute addition to my basket as well was this beautiful little top. I just thought it was pretty. I'm really into white tops at the moment. I'm really into white for spring. I feel like I've said that a lot in this video actually. But yeah, very much into it. And I thought this would be a cute little addition. It's a little more structured, I think. And I quite liked that about it. But it does look a little bit large, I'm not gonna lie. So I got this in an extra small and it was $25.99. Not 100% sure on like what the fit will be like. It also looks, it looks like the body is quite wide, like quite big, but the bust area looks quite small. I don't have a big bust, so it should be fine. But if you do, this might not be one to go for, but we'll see when I try it on. Finally, Zara has quite a lot of shell jewelry, which I'm very much into at the moment. I'm really, really enjoying just like the shell jewelry, shell necklaces, shell earrings, basically shell everything. And there's quite a lot to choose from on Zara. I actually went for an anklet. I feel like an anklet was something that I really, really, really wanted to get. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to wait until the summer or until my friends go away and I ask them to bring me back one, or I'm just gonna have to get one myself in the summer when I go away, which currently is only in August, so a long while to wait. So I saw this and I thought it was absolutely perfect. 
We've got the shell anklet and just a couple of gold ones as well. I don't know if you have to wear these all together or if you can maybe separate them, but I just thought it was really, really cute for summer. I thought it was lovely. And this was 99, 99, imagine. This was nine pounds 99, so just under 10 pounds. Really, really cute. Obviously more expensive than if you were to go away and get it in a market or something, you could probably get it for like a couple of pounds. But yeah, 9.99 some on-trend shells. I thought it was cute. And so that's everything I picked up from Zara for the spring. Let me know which pieces were your favourite. I would love to hear. Just leave your comment down below letting me know what I should keep and what you think I should return. Obviously I haven't yet tried anything on so maybe when I tried on everything was awful. Maybe when I tried on everything was amazing. So do let me know. I'm always really really keen on hearing your feedback and just knowing what you guys like, what you think suits me, what you think doesn't suit me. It's basically like we're all having a party in the changing rooms and trying to decide what to keep and what to return. So please do let me know. As always, a really, really big thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. A big thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.